Um, so I guess let's talk about the initial conversation. So I'm assuming you guys use Zoom or something to try to get them on a call. Yeah, no, yeah. I mean, yeah. basically. All right. So when you're trying to get them a call, what, what is your purpose there and what are you trying to do? Well, um, like I don't, depending on their situation would depend on if I'm trying to book them on a, a, a meeting right now. Like if someone is like six months off, like there's no point in me getting on a Zoom with them right now, right? Um, I, I try to wait um, until they are ready to start looking at properties in person. And I usually say to them, um, you know, when, once it gets to the point where I'm talking to them and they're like, hey, I want to go see this. Um, what, what we'll do is I'll say, okay, listen, before we go out and see any properties in person, there are just a few things that we have to go over. Because, you know, the market is fairly hot right now. And I just want to make sure that if this is the right property for you, that we're all set up so you don't miss out on it, right? And then I ask them, do you want to miss out on the property if it's the right one? And they'll usually say no. So I say, okay, we just need about 20, 30 minutes to go over a few things and uh, make sure that we have everything set up so that if, if we do find the right property, then we're ready to make a move. And then um, I'll book them in for a Zoom then at that time. Great. Anyone else? Colton? Yeah, again, I do it a little bit different. As soon as that lead comes in, I mean, I'm trying to get them in for buyer consult as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I do show them, depending on if they specifically want that house, which I do have a lead company as well, that the lead comes in on that specific property. I'll call them, I'll show them, I'll take the chance and show them the property. And because I give so much value to that person, they, they obviously, uh, they trust me, even though we've only spent a half an hour with them. So I'll show them one to three houses first. And then after I th show them the third house, I say, Hey, unfortunately, if you want to continue working with me, now we have to get into a buyer console and we have to sign a buyer app because my time is important. Right. Um, but again, I just take that, I guess I just take that chance and, go with it. I mean, I've been burned before, but for the most time, because I'm bringing that value to the table, they, uh, they want to work with me. The uh, quick question, the one to three properties, is that over three different sessions or like a one session, three units? Kind that of will thing? be one session, three okay. units. So not like over three days over like two weeks. No, no, no. It's no, it's literally just like three houses. I'll show them like if they sign into one, I kind of just send, I'll send them like a bunch of properties based on the criteria that they talked about. Yep. I'll say, okay, Mr. Buyer, like, let's go see these three properties. Let's get to know each other, build a relationship. And then as per my agreement, after three properties, if you want to continue working with me, now you're going to have to sign a buyer up with me. Do you have like an initial, you just said agreement there. Is that some type of like. Just in my own, like, I guess in my own, like in my own head. Like, oh, in your head. Okay. So you don't have them sign. In my business plan, like after three properties, you want to continue working with me, like. You're gonna to have to sign something. Great. Oh, that's pretty good. I like that philosophy too. You know, I just want to add anything to that. No. Yeah, <laughs> so I, I, I personally, I won't show a single property without a VRA. And um, mm -hmm. if if I'm having the buyer consultation and you know they are hesitant to sign um, a VRA, then I'll usually say, hey, you know, I understand that you don't want to be locked into a long-term contract we just met. Um, what I'm willing to do is we can we can set up a, a temporary contract for just the properties we're going to go see this week. And uh, then from there, if you like how I work, then we can move on. But um, if they won't sign a property specific one, then I'll usually say like, hey, sorry, I'm, I, I'm, un, un, I'm unable to show you the property. And then just, uh, I'll just move on. Yeah, no, that's good. Okay.